Welcome to the step-by-step -step video on how to enroll in RBC Online Banking. Before you begin, make sure you have your RBC Royal Bank client card, credit card, or account number with you. You'll also need either your mobile or home phone number. Start by going to www.rbc.com forward slash enroll in your desktop internet browser. We're going to walk through the steps for personal banking. So to answer this question, who do you want to enroll today? Select myself, then click on enroll now. Step one is to tell us who you are. Click on yes under, do you have an RBC Royal Bank client card or credit card? Now enter your client card number or credit card number and your postal code, then click on continue. If you do not have a client card or credit card number, you'll need to click on no. You will then be asked to enter your account number instead. For step two, you'll need to request an activation code. First, check to see if the phone number under by text message is the same as your mobile phone number. If it is, click the circle next to it and then click on get code. Alternatively, if the phone number under by phone is the same as your home phone number, click the circle next to it and then click on get code. Once you're done this step, a code will be sent to you. Pause this video and write down that code. Once you have your activation code, enter it in the box on the screen and click on submit. Now it's time to set your password. Think about a secure password. It must have eight to 32 characters in total. At least one of the characters must be a number from zero to nine or a special character such as a dollar sign, exclamation point, or percentage symbol. And at least one of the characters must be a letter. Pause this video to figure out what your password will be. Don't write it down or share it with anyone, just commit it to memory. Next, type your password into the first box under Create a Password and then again in the box under re-enter password. If they don't match, you'll get an error message. Try it again until the passwords match message appears. Now, you have the option of creating a username. You don't have to do this, but it's helpful if you don't want to enter your client card or credit card number each time you log into online banking. It must be six to 30 characters and contain at least one letter. Pause this video while you come up with a username and then enter it in the box under create a username and click continue. Next, pause the video so you can read the message under enroll in online banking. When you're done reading, click on either not now or continue. If you clicked on continue, take a few moments to read through the electronic access agreement. When you are done reading it and you agree with the terms, click in the box next to I have read and agree to be legally bound by the terms of the electronic access agreement and click on I accept. You will now be guided through a few short steps to further enhance the security of your online banking account, like setting up your security preferences. Click on Continue. Next, you'll need to create personal verification questions. Start by pausing the video to read over the instructions at the top of the page. Under Personal Verification Question 1, click on the black arrow at the far right-hand side of the long box. A list of question type options will drop down. 
choose a question from the list that you can come up with an answer for and click on it. Next to Answer, write out your answer. Pause the video while you repeat these steps to complete all three questions and answers. When you're done, click on Continue. On this next screen, you need to confirm the answers to the security questions you just set up. If you get any error messages, check to make sure you enter the exact same answers as you did in the previous step. Click on Back if you need to go to the previous screen. Pause the video while you complete this step. When you are finished, click on Confirm. Now, you'll need to select whether or not you're asked the personal security questions each time you sign in. Pause the video while you read this screen. After you've made your choice, click on Continue. Finally, Confirm your email address so we can assist you with any issues you may experience with RBC Online Banking in the future. When you are done, click on Continue. Great, now you're done. You now have access to the full suite of online banking services where you can send money, deposit checks, pay bills, and much more. Click on Go to Accounts to take a look around.